how cute! Kate, welcome to my YouTube channel. Thanks for having me. <laughs> I know you've been on it before in just like vlogs and stuff, but I actually came prepared this time. Lovely. With questions. Little bit about Caitlyn, if you don't know her already. She has gone viral twice now. What the heck? That's crazy. I'm glad you were so happy in that video. You were dancing and I've never seen you dance like so hard. And me and Janae were just like smiling the whole entire time. This routine is so much fun. Like, it's hard not to. Yeah, <laughs> seriously. <laughs> like, is it actually happening? Because I remember when even Hallie went viral and we were like, whoa, that's so crazy. I didn't actually think about it until I talked to other people and they're like, oh my God, do you know Caitlyn from UCLA? I'm like, how do you know them? They're like, oh my God, we saw the video. It's actually crazy like that it's reaching out to so many people because it's, it's weird because we like are so close yeah, to you exactly. that we don't think it's actually happening. Yeah, no, right. So you have 37,785,500 on Facebook. That's crazy, that's a lot of numbers too. Yeah, that is. That, that was a handful to say. 40. It's very specific. That was very specific. I, I don't know why I was, my, <laughs> the rest are so vague. <laughs> really specific on Facebook and then it was like 42.6 million on Twitter. <laughs> and then 32 million on YouTube. Wow. How does yeah. that make you feel? It's crazy, like, but then you also have to take into consideration some are probably the same, pe like, person. Like, rewatching? Yeah, right? <laughs> like, I don't know, like, you could watch it on Twitter and then go to That's YouTube. That's true. Then I think, like, my mom's probably half of them. Keeps me level headed. <laughs> That's good. That's a good way to think. See, Randy, role model. Randy helped me with that. How many shows have you been on? Good Morning America. Couldn't go on Ellen because it was between Good Morning America and Ellen. Oh. Yeah. Steve Harvey. Cheddar. It's Cheddar. It's like playing on the TV probably out there. I was just on Busy and Home and oh. Family. <laughs> A lot of phone interviews, Hollywood access. That's cool. This is like a month after she has gone viral. That's a lot of shows. And she's doing season, and she's doing school. And I got <laughs> and she finally got a perm. <laughs> Miss Mouth finally gave me the green light. <laughs> it looks good. How many Instagram followers have you gained in the last month? 500,000. It was disgusting. I couldn't even get on social media for a couple days after. I remember sitting on my page and like me and my friend like refreshed it and it went up like a couple thousand. That's within the so refresh. Crazy. We were like, <gasps> what? <laughs> like just seeing the visual of it, they were like, no, but like I can't, I couldn't find any of my mentions. I used to kind of like somewhat like just like read comments or like DMs because yeah. I thought it was funny, but like, no, I can't do it anymore. Like it's too overwhelming almost. So I'm like, <laughs> you're like, nope, no, nope. off of it. I was just telling someone I haven't had time to even like figure out how I feel about everything that's happening because yeah. I've just been like going and going and I feel like I have no downtime to even like I've been trying to journal for like the past <laughs> like month almost to figure out like one I want to be able to remember all of it like right year is down so I want to keep it yeah and like to like just even have that downtime like headspace to like be a away from it and like figure out like how I feel right so you're kind of just all over the place and you just had a midterm today yeah school has <laughs> been a little neglected unfortunately yeah traveling but I've been trying, you know, to keep up with it as much as That's possible good. whenever whenever I get downtime. Yeah. <laughs> okay, so I want to talk, like, about how you went viral last year. Like, it was huge, but it wasn't on the scale of this time. Yeah, no, it's it's funny because it's, like, I, it had so many views last year. It was, like, 80 million or something, but then it got deleted. So oh, really? Then, Why? Because of copyright issues, I think, uh, different... So, someone posted it on Facebook, so it was like whole copyright issue. So then you couldn't track how many people had actually seen it. That's interesting. But I think also because it was on Facebook, a whole different wave of people saw that one compared to this year on Twitter. Right. So it's like, I would hate to say like more important people, but like higher up people. Right, yeah. Have like noticed it and like comment on it. And that's yeah. what's insane. Who noticed it last year and who noticed it this year? I couldn't even tell you who noticed it last year. Like... I don't think anyone that like <laughs> was like <gasps> yeah right <laughs> <laughs> but like this year it's been like Kamala Harris, Janet Jackson, what the heck, Gabrielle Union. I I look I screamed that was insane. I got a notification and I was like <sighs> I was like I was like let me double check this is her <laughs> and then I screamed. <laughs> how did your life change last year and how did your life change this year? Uh, I would say my life didn't really change last year. Maybe like a couple more people like yeah. recognized me. I feel like you got a there. blue check mark last year. Oh, that's because I got hacked. Oh. 
Yeah, but well, that wasn't because you went viral. No, <laughs> no. <laughs> Dang. <laughs> Fun fact. <laughs> it well, is funny because I got hacked trying to verify my account. If someone emails you saying they want to verify, you don't believe it. Oh, because you clicked on that. Yeah. Oh. <laughs> It's hard nowadays because everyone's trying to help you out. So yeah. like, you can't accept anything. Almost. You really can't accept anything unless you pick up the phone and actually talk to them or go with them like in person. But also that can be kind of tricky, like meeting up with them in person. I do that a lot though. <laughs> <laughs> I always get in trouble. Like I just hit up someone on Instagram and then I ended up going out to Compton like the next day, <laughs> and they were like, "Oh my, you actually came!" And I was like, "Yeah, like this is a great cause. Like, right, yeah. why not?" It was um, a mission trip in Compton, so oh. we like painted a church. Oh, that's I got cool. to watch these kids like graduate from this program. Yeah, oh. but my mom's always like, "Caitlin is a deep." Oh, <laughs> she's but she's always like Caitlyn is amazing. She just like loves people. Like, is that natural for you or? I would like, say. Like, where does so. that come like, from? My mom. Your mom. My mom loves everyone. She's a heart of gold. <laughs> so like, that's true. That's where I get it. Oh, that's nice. <laughs> and the best terrible. advice you would give to yourself. Basically, what I've been thinking about is like timing's everything, mm -hmm. and I think like this year I couldn't be more prepared for everything. Like right. last year, if this would have happened, like I don't know if I would have been ready for it. Just the fact that one, I think I've stepped into myself almost not full because I don't think right. you should ever be fully into yourself like you should always be growing but like I prepared very well for who I want to be right Miss Vallow's too is like you set yourself up for like whatever you've wanted mm -hmm. to do in life and the universe has opened the door having this happen this year on my senior year where I'm about to right. head out and like start my career and like being able to have a voice for the things that I'm so passionate about mm -hmm. has just been like crazy and amazing. It's so cool. I really think like it happened for a reason because I, I just like believe you're going to change the world. What advice would you give yourself now? Or what have you been thinking about a lot since since this has happened? Um, I've been thinking about, like I've known this for a while, but like taking time to myself is like so important. Yeah. Sometimes you don't know what's real and what's not. Right. I want to be as true to myself as possible. And like, I'm sure some people think that like what I'm trying to do is like super fake. Have you gotten a lot of negative comments too? It's funny, like not necessarily about being like fake, but like my photo shoot I did with the breaking glass got so much ne like really? negativity, which I thought was insane. Cause it's like, people People would rather you be silent than try to like make a change and that's not gonna stop me because like right. these are things I'm passionate about so I don't really care what your opinion is I can try to like educate you on like mine and we can maybe compromise but like <laughs> you can't please you can't, everybody you can't exactly isn't it weird though that what you think is good other people don't yeah like isn't that it's really weird huh yeah and the more people like the higher up you are, the more people you have that like don't. So it's right. like you kind of like, hmm, this person is a hater. <laughs> What's the one thing you want to get out of going viral? Being able to make changes in a larger scale. Like I am super passionate about like domestic violence. Yeah. And then on top of that, I haven't said this in many interviews, but like there's a lot of stuff I want to do with like sex education mm -hmm. and like turning it into more like the emotional tools having a bigger platform to do that and like make changes in that area reiterate self-love basically to mm -hmm. like younger women yeah that's always been part of the plan and this is why she's gonna change the world oh back to gymnastics are you excited yeah. for your senior year because of all this are you still focused on a national championship because i know it's hard like to get distracted honestly this is crazy because it's like it's not even for it's not for me, it's for like, yeah. it's for everyone. All the interviews have been about my teammates. That's awesome. So that's amazing to see, like mm -hmm. all the support. Everywhere we've gone and all over the country, sales for college gymnastics meets have increased. That's so awesome. So to see that change from just this one video, yeah. you know what I'm saying? <laughs> no, yeah. And like, it just happens by luck to be me, but it's for all a bigger cause. I'm still the same person. Right. Like, I don't know, nationals obviously is like the mm -hmm. biggest, thing and like I come in the gym like still focus yeah <laughs> doing the same thing <laughs> yeah I mean I don't know how focused I am but like Miss <laughs> 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 Val do not watch this I'm kidding <laughs> well thanks Kate for being on my YouTube channel thanks for having me you're welcome I love you Ooh. go change the world now <laughs>